Hey, what's going on? Rick Duo just wanted to go ahead and talk today about the LEGO Harry Potter 2022 set list thanks to Promo Bricks. I know it's been a while since I've talked to you guys, just been real busy, but glad to be back at it. So, first up, we have the uh, two LEGO Hogwarts moments sets. One's the fortune telling lessons, and the other's defense against the dark arts lessons. I'm sure you guys remember that scene from the first movie. Um, you know, I think these sets are good for what they are for 30 bucks. I think they do a good job with minifigures and telling a story. And actually looking good on display too with the book. For me, it's just it's just not interesting though. I'm personally just not a huge fan of the way these sets work. I think there's just a lot of loose pieces when you want to display them, and it's more of a play set than a display piece. But it kind of balances both, but it doesn't really do either that great for me. But that's just my opinion. So we're still getting some of these. So the ones that I have released are probably selling well, if I had to guess. Uh, the next will be a Lego uh, Hogwarts expansion, which is always interesting to see. Uh, this would be an expansion for the Hogwarts sets that have just recently come out on August 1st uh, that were based on the Chamber of Secrets, the Sick Wing. This will be uh, based on Episode 3, and it uh, looks like the facade will be the Clock Tower, so it'll be interesting to see, too. Um, you know, It seems like the first wave of Hogwarts has pretty much been complete as far as the, the sets that, that go to that are concerned. Uh, it'll be interesting to see you know, how long this ep you know, Episode 2, Episode 3, or whatever you want to call it, uh, Hogwarts will last too and you know looking down the line how many different Hogwarts castles will they make I think these sets have been really good so I'm personally not complaining about it and they've been different uh, it was cool to see this time you know them use a different roof so even if you had the first uh, you know entire first Hogwarts you'd still probably be interested in these sets and they do a great Lego Harry Potter like we said before does an awesome job with the minifigures and uh, the next set this one's really weird in my opinion kind of interesting uh, I'm interested to see what it actually looks like it's a Hogwarts suitcase that'll have a real lock and key um, and then there'll be different things on the inside that you can customize and just things that, uh, you know, revolve around Lego Harry Potter and the world of Lego, world of Lego Harry Potter. Um, it looks like it has the Tri Magic Cup in it and other things like this. I think for 603 pieces for $50, uh, you can't complain too much. I'm not really sure what the minifigures are going to look like, but it um, looks like they'll be customizable too. So maybe you'll get, um, you know, a Gryffindor. Ravenclaw and you know just all the different four houses as far as that's concerned for their uh, sweaters and things like that So it could be cool it might be uh, almost like a little bit of a Hogwarts, you know Surprise pack or battle pack whatever you want to call it, even though it's not a battle pack But it just has a lot of interesting things and it will uh, go together in a suitcase, which I think is good I think uh, like I said before too I'm not sure if I'll like it because I think Harry Potter has been going down the route of Yes, it's a play set, but they're also giving a really good displayability factor to it, too. Um, and if you're into a display piece, it kind of intrigues you that way. Like I said, I haven't been super intrigued by these Hogwarts moments. Um, you know, maybe the Hogwarts suitcase will be different. I have liked the direct-to-consumer sets that have come out, so it'll be interesting to see if we get any of those later next year, too, because I think the one that came out this year was a big surprise to most people. At least I know it was for myself. I was definitely looking for a Green Gods Bank, and I think we still need to receive that. But anyway, guys, this is Brookdale. Have a great week, uh, and I hope you had a good weekend. Thanks, guys. Yeah.